There are 42 club sports teams on campus, but only one that competes co-ed. Field hockey, a sport normally seen as female in America, incorporates both females and males at the college club level, and the players welcome that mix. We mesh well. It's, it's not like they're trying to one-up us or just dodge through us and score. They really incorporate the whole team. They pass. They will pull you aside and show you a skill. It's, it's not divided. We are one team and we play really well together. For senior Andrew Zayak, the sport of field hockey is nothing new. I got in field hockey when I was nine. That was about fourth grade. Fourth, fifth, and sixth grade I played for that school and then once I got to high school they told me I couldn't play because I'm a guy. And that's fine. Uh, I ended up making the national team so I played with them for my entire high school career and through now. Although the difference in skill level is vast between the international competition and the club level, Zayak says he needs both to be at his best. I kind of need them both to balance each other out, you know? You go from that, like, that high pressure situation where it's really intense, but it's really satisfying, but then sometimes it's nice to just be able to come uh, relax. Apart from his playing experience, Zayak also brings his coaching experience to the Terps, a team without a coach. Like many club teams at Maryland, the president also serves as the coach of the team. And it's not always easy for Abby Lynch. A lot of times it depends on the skill level of the other team that we're playing. If we know we're playing a team that has some really great guys as well, we'll put Andrew and John in as kind of a neutralizer so that our girls can work around them. The combination of boys and girls is working well for the Terps. April 23rd and 24th marked the National Field Hockey League Spring Tournament which the Terps hosted and won. With all that success, maybe the other 41 clubs that aren't co-ed will soon take the hint.